Well, <laughs> hey guys, uh, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about maintenance. And when I say maintenance, it's uh, how to clean your atomizers, uh, when it's actually time to replace your coils, uh, when it's time to just rewick it or to build your own coils. So um, stay tuned and uh, let's get back into it. So first things first, let's start with how you clean your atomizer or DA or RTA. It's the same principle for all of them. You, what you'll need is a little bowl with water. It cannot be hot water and please don't put any chemicals on it like detergents and stuff because bear in mind you're going to be vaping on this. So the process is as simple as it gets. In this case I'm going to use an RDA. So you literally just take it apart and you just dump it in. There you go, leave it like that for a couple of minutes, take it out, dry it and reassemble it and then you can store it. Now, um, I have to mention this, this is really important which is don't ever 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 leave it in the water for more than a couple of hours. Uh, because what's going to happen is the water is going to affect, uh, it's going to have an impact on all the O-rings and they're going to dilate and then you're going to end up having to replace all of them. Uh, or in other cases, as I can actually show you in case of a standard or TA or, or atomizer, it can actually, I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see it, can actually break your glass. Alright, so always be really careful when you do it, so as, as quickly as you can, just leave it here to sick for a, like to uh, soak for a bit and then just take it off and dry it out and uh, there you go, good to go. Same principle with all the other ones, uh, it doesn't matter if it's a RTA or it doesn't matter if it's just like a normal like normal atomizer, like for example the TFB16. One of the things you need to be careful though in the cases of uh, standard atomizers uh, or RTAs is that uh, let's assume you buy a new one and you start using it and you put your old one aside. Uh, the e-liquid will solidify and it will be stuck and it will be an absolute nightmare for you to take this apart. So my piece of advice is as soon as you um, get your new, you want to try a new mod, uh, mod a new RTA, a new RDA, uh, just wash your, your old one and just, you know, clean it, dry it, and, uh, and then store it, okay? So, that's the, the bit of, of the cleaning aspect. Now, when to clean your, your mods, uh, for example, in case of a standard RTI, uh, a standard atomizer, um, you can see, sometimes you can, but most of the times you cannot see how bad the coil is. For example, let me just tear this one apart, take the coil out, Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's a bit brownish on this side, the inside of the coil, but most of them don't allow you to see the inside of the coil. You only see this side. This side is actually quite white. There's not a problem. It looks absolutely new. But if you look on the inside though, I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see it. This is not supposed to be black. This is absolutely disgusting. So this coil needs to go and this is the time you need to replace it unfortunately on an atomizer you can only see it once you open it or sometimes if you're lucky you can actually have a sneak peek from the actual inside of it but uh, yeah so what i usually do is just take it off wash it out uh, make sure that the coil is proper dry, or either put the new coil and then store it or wash the old one and then store it because standard atomizers they do tend to only function properly if they have a coil in the middle, like this one, for example. Yeah, the rubber is maintained in place, but you need the insides because that's what screws both, both ends. All right, so just put this on the side, try and clean my hands a little bit, and then we're gonna move on to the RTAs. RTAs, it's the same principle. Uh, you can actually only see the inside once you actually open it. 
Um, so which means that most of the times if you want to see if your uh, liquid is bad or if, you, or if your coils need replacing etc you have no choice but to empty the tank and open it up and then have a look at it or as a pro tip what you can do is you can actually if you start noticing the the color of the liquid change you're getting a little bit brownish here at the bottom then that means that something is dirty either on the cotton side or on the coil most of the times it's the coil and that's a good sign that you need to to, to replace it or the flavor you start losing flavor not don't confuse it with getting used to the flavor but you start actually losing the strength of the flavor and it, it just changes that's a good indicator that you need to start reweaking it or rebuilding it uh, in this case for example if you have a proper look it's actually not that bad so the coils aren't too dirty and the cotton this is like a caramel paste so it's supposed to be this color so this one is actually good doesn't need uh, replacing. Now on a RDA for example, uh, this is the drop dead. So if you look at this one for example, so in this case if you have a look at it, uh, you'll see that the cotton is actually okay but the coils are quite disgusting. They're black, they're charred. Uh, this usually happens when you use uh, sugary uh, e-liquids. They tend to gunk up the coil. So in this case you have no choice but to rebuild it. So to rebuild it is you know you know I'm not gonna teach you how to do it because I showed you this on my previous video but you take the, the cotton out and then you unscrew everything take the coils out dunk it in liquid there you go you're good to go now carrying on to another case let's look at this one this one is how it should be <laughs> let's see if it's focus see white cotton the coils aren't that bad so in this case this is what you're aiming for this is what you should have so just to reset all this back and now for example the mutant if you open it up this one everything is replacing let's just see if this focuses there you go see the cotton is getting brownish and the coil is absolutely black so this needs replacing um, if you look at the, the cotton is actually really really dark you have a lot of light here so it will not help but this also needs well, you can actually see the color here let's see if this focuses now as you can see it's, it has a really dark color on the cotton and the coil is disgusting uh, so in this case you have no choice but you have to rebuild everything but i'm going to show you guys a little trick um, this doesn't work all the time with all of them uh, so I, I have to advise you guys to, have to be careful with it what happens if you are waiting for your wire to arrive or your coils pre-made coils to arrive um, and you realize that if this is the state that your um, coils are dark and ugly uh, what you can actually do a little bit of a trick is you can put it in your mod and then you can heat it up until they go red so most most of the times they will start burning stuff so the, the trick is just wait until the see if it's getting red. Once it gets like proper cold red, you grab your stack of water and you just dunk it. Make sure you're not pressing the button when you're uh, dunking it, but wait a little bit. Keep pressing a little bit just to dry up the water, and then the same thing, just do it a couple of times. Don't do this with a mechanical mod, right? This, as you can see, it's getting red. Then let it dry. And then once this dries out, you'll actually be able to see. Let's see if this focus, and I don't burn my hand. And there, you guys, you can see, guys. The coil is clean. All right, so this should be good enough to keep you going for the next couple of days until your call, until your coils are fixed. But I don't advise you guys to do this all the time. All right, replace your coils when time is is due. Now, 
moving back to a different one. What happens if you have a Aspire or if you have a pod system? Now, on pod systems, most of the times, it's you can see the color of the liquid, but if you pull out the, the pod, there's no way for you to see the state of your coil. And the coils are usually really small for you to have a look at. In this case, in case of a pod, you have no choice, but it's going to be down to flavor. You'll notice a difference in flavor, or maybe if you're lucky enough and if it's not a dark, a darker visor, you can see a change in liquid color. Um, that's an indicator that you need to replace your coil. All right, on a another kind of um, atomizer like the the Aspire Poc X, um, there's also it's also the same principle. Um, you have to open it up. There's no way for you to to see the coil. You can see from the sides, but as we shown on the example of the TFV16. This is not an indicator of the state of the coil, and you cannot see it on the inside. Again, you're gonna have to uh, be dependent on the difference in flavor, or maybe the color of the liquid. Liquids, when they, they start going bad, or they start getting burned, they do have a brownish color, so that would be a good indicator for you guys to um, replace everything. All right, and that's how you do it. All right, so there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed your video and don't forget to click like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all next week.